We are here in the New Forest, a bit of a stormy looking New Forest actually. It's a bit cloudy, a bit grey, a bit miserable. It's definitely raining. Yeah, yeah I think it might have eased off for a bit at the moment, but yeah, it has been raining. Um, but yeah, important news, big important news. We want to say a massive thank you to everyone, all of you lot. We have just hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah, a thousand subscribers is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I can't believe it. So yeah, big thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And um, yeah, I cannot believe in about three and a half months, four months, we've we've got to a thousand. That's that's pretty amazing. We're very very pleased with that. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Genuinely, massive thank you to all our subscribers. We are so touched, especially by the comments. The comments have been so lovely. Yeah. Really, yeah, really yeah. great. So we're going to keep on bringing out the videos for you all. We're going to make sure it's all completely worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, so that leads on to um, a bit something to celebrate our uh, thousand subscribers. Uh, we're going to hold a Q&A. So what I want everyone to do is um, ask you a question. Write in the comment below, in the comments below. Um, ask you a question about anything, whether it be camper van related, um, dog related, dog related. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, anything. Um, feel free to ask. And uh, also, what we're going to do is everyone that does ask a question in the comments um, will also be entered into a draw for a giveaway so uh, we're going to give uh, something away in the next video so uh, it'll be picked at random but yes you have to write a question and it has to be an interesting question it can't be <laughs> an like question. <laughs> what, uh, what's the meaning of life oh i don't know that one anyway. yeah I, I don't know the answer to that one but yeah um so Big thank you once again to the 1,000 subscribers. That is absolutely amazing. And uh, make sure you ask your questions and we will answer them in the next video. <laughs> Talking of questions and answers and that kind of thing, uh, one of the big things that gets asked all the time is uh, what camera are you using and what drone have you got? So. I'm going to show you. The camera that we use all the time is this one. <laughs> so yeah, so it's an iPhone 7 Plus. How are you filming now, Sean? Magic. It's another <laughs> iPhone 7 Plus. <laughs> so yeah, we've just used both uh, both of our iPhones. Um, as I've much got the as pink one. yeah, as much as I would love to uh, get an, an SLR camera. Um, I can't justify the cost at the minute, what with a wedding coming up and everything like that. And the fact of the matter is, this is absolutely brilliant. It really, really is a good camera. The image stabilisation is fantastic. I've yet to find anything that I think is um, as good, apart from the other bit of kit that I'll show you in a second. Um, it's, it's always with me. That's the most important thing. I always have my phone on me um, and that's... So whenever I see an opportunity, something interesting to film, I can do. I don't have to lug loads and loads of stuff around with me. Um, the only thing that lets it down is the microphone uh, sometimes. I mean, it's okay now when we're, we're talking in here, but um, yeah, when you're outside in windy conditions, it's not that great. So what I did is I bought a Rode Video Mic Go, and you can see what I've done is I've just cable tied this to a uh, Gorilla Pod, and the idea is the phone sits in here uh, like this, screws in, and then this with the little adapter because there's no 3.5mm um, jack anymore on these, it just plugs in and away you go, you film, and the idea is that, that this dead cat is supposed to get rid of any wind noise but the problem that I've found using this and I've actually stopped using it now um, is when the wind does come 
rather than getting that sort of fluffy, fuzzy noise, it just totally kills the sound. So you, you end up with no sound at all. So it's, it's actually become a real nightmare. The only way I can use this is um, if I plug it into, into the iPhone and use an app called, uh, let me have a quick look, uh, Filmic Pro. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom corner there. Yeah. As if you use Filmic Pro. So it's quite an expensive app. Um, it's a 10, for an app it's £10. But it, what that gives you the ability to do is alter the limits on the microphone. So you, and you can also do things like you can fix the exposure, you can fix all sorts of different things on the camera. You can even choose which camera you use out of the two on the iPhone 7 Plus. So it totally unlocks the features of the, um, uh, the iPhone camera. So it is a very, very good app. Uh, fantastic. You can alter the zoom really smoothly, that kind of thing. It's got some very clever features. Um, and so yes, that's the only way you can go ahead and use this comfortably, I find, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that's the camera and microphone setup that we use. But like I say, most of the time, this isn't even plugged in. I don't bother plugging that in and we just film. If it's windy, then I plug that in and we have to use the Filmic Pro uh, app. I do also have a GoPro Hero 3, uh, which is quite old by GoPro standards, because uh, I think they're on five or six or something. But um, I don't use that anymore because uh, amazingly the iPhone quality is so much better um, e even by the, the GoPro and one one of the big things that I despise with GoPros is the amount of times mine seems to crash it crashes all the time it doesn't pair up with the uh, app on the phone I just think the software is really not fit for purpose so um, yeah and that leads me on to the fact that when it came to picking a drone that I wanted to get uh, I was toying between getting a GoPro Karma and the DJI Mavic or a DJI product and that's why I stay clear of the GoPro because in my opinion I was put off by the the, the little GoPro camera um, the software not working I thought if that's going to happen in something that's flying that's going to be pretty terrifying so this is the drone that we got what are you looking at what are you looking out there for what's out there So yeah, we, we chose to get the DJI Mavic, which is an amazing bit of kit. It's absolutely fantastic. This is the bag that it comes in uh, if you buy the Fly More package. The Fly More package gives you the drone, this bag, a couple of extra batteries, that kind of thing, um, for a couple of hundred pound more. But it, if you bought them all individually, it would be 300 and something pound more. So um, yeah, so a little bit of a saving on all that stuff. Um, so yeah, the beauty of it is, I looked at the Phantom and I looked at things like that, but the beauty of um, this is we can take this with us anywhere. It is so small, um, it's, uh, you can just take it absolutely everywhere whenever you go out and no one even knows that you've got a drone on you. They just think you've got a, no a normal camera. So have a look inside here. Uh, this is the, let me get this out. This is the controller. see that there so the aerials uh, flip up like that I'm not going to do a full review on this because I'm not qualified to do that really um, I'm not although I like my gadgets I'm not a tech freak so I'll get stuff wrong and you blame me and then you'd sue me and all sorts and I've run out of money so uh, <laughs> so what happens is you open this all out and your phone which is in here clips into the bottom there can see that uh, like so and then just slides into the bottom like that and you fly with the joystick but the phone is your screen so that shows you what the camera is seeing and you can control the camera using these features and all sorts it's yeah it's very very clever really really cool uh, so that's the controller and this is the drone which is just tiny it it doesn't the uh, in a video it doesn't really do it justice you don't realize how small it is um, but yeah you just fold out the arms like so and like that and like that and there you have it that is the drone set up ready to go the batteries just slot in the top here 
So I've got three of those batteries. You can see how full they are by just pressing that. So that's three out of four bars. So there's quite a bit of battery life left in that. It flies for about a well, good 15 minutes. It's uh, The variables are uh, whatever the wind is doing. If it's really windy, then it uses the battery a bit quicker because uh, it's trying to counteract uh, that when it's hovering, that kind of thing. Um, and you'll see, this is just a protector on the camera. And if I take that one, that's just why actually transporting it. There's a gimbal in there, which is switched off at the minute, which is why it's flopping around. But that stays perfectly stable and that's what I was saying this is about the only thing that seems to have better image stabilization than the iPhone <laughs> so they're really really good um, at the minute we have you can see a little polarizer on the front so I bought a set of polarizers which I'll show you in a second uh, the two extra batteries just sit in the side here one in either side and then yeah these are the polarizers that I was on about so you get a set of three um, filters, ND filters. See, it starts getting a bit technical and I don't really know what it means, but basically there are different um, darknesses and it just um, means that, because if you're flying in really sunny conditions, it just is overexposed and it's, it's quite hard to edit. So if you just um, put, pop them on the front, it's great. And these are uh, Polar Pro ND filters. Uh, which I'll put a link to those in the description below. So yeah, that's that. And I've also just been delivered another few bits from Amazon, uh, which is, this is just a real cheap package from Cam Kicks. It's like 15 quid, something like that. I think Dudley thinks it's treats. It's not treats. <laughs> see. Um, and what that, that one, what that does is when you're transporting it, they sit, it sits on the joysticks like that because it's quite tight in the bag it moves the joysticks otherwise so that's just for transportation on that it also comes with landing gear uh, sometimes you'll be flying around and it's easy enough to take off because you can sit the drone perfectly on some on a little bit of a little patch of level flat grass but when you come back to land it you've got to try and get it back on that flat grass if it's long grass this this sits quite low in um, in the grass so you you don't want to churn up get a load of um, rubbish in the propellers so this just raises them up so I've never even I've not even used these yet Have they, oh yeah like that and you've got one on each side and it just makes it sit that little bit higher and it still flies perfectly fine with those on um, so yeah you, you can just means that you can take off from a bit longer grass uh, so yeah, that's what they are for. And the last thing in here is, which I'm not that fussed about really. When you have the polarizers, it doesn't really, it's not really a necessity. But this is a sunshade, um, which is probably not a bad alternative if you don't have polarizers. And the idea is you fly along with that on like that. And the camera still works fairly well. I think if you do some fast movements, you can sometimes see the shade in it, but it just, it's basically like putting a baseball cap on the drone, just so you can get rid of some of the sun. So that's what that is. But yeah, so we have, uh, again, I'll put a link to that if anyone's interested in getting a few accessories for their drone, put them in the link below. DJI have just announced the DJI Spark, which is it's about half the size again. It looks absolutely amazing and it's about 500 pounds, so about half the price as well. If you are interested in get one, check that out. The, um, the most important thing, obviously, with flying drones is make sure you stick to the rules and regulations. Um, a lot of people don't. You'd see on YouTube, they, um, yeah, they're a bit irresponsible with flying drones, but you've got to be really careful because it will come back and bite you otherwise. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it with regards to our uh, vlogging equipment. Like I said before, we've got the Q&A coming up, so any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, also, ask the question for to be in with a chance of winning the prize. So you can see, as I turn, see how the gimbal is beautifully stable, it's amazing. But yeah, very clever. Anyway, I'll just show you it um, taking off.
just amazingly stable. And so yeah, you can see here, this is the screen that shows uh, what the camera is seeing. You can just pull up a map and it'll show you where it is, where you took off from. Um, and this gives you all information about the actual flight and battery and how high you are and, and all that kind of stuff. So, all very clever. thing to say is uh, keep liking the videos keep commenting and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe it's um, absolutely amazing uh, that we've got a thousand subscribers let's power on through to 2,000